The Arctic Ocean, with much open water, was probably ice-free. Get that? Was probably ice-free, at least in summer, though not the channels of the Canadian archipelago. Lamb suggests that there would be value in the study of climate since the end of the last ice age, a time during which the established view was that climate change during the period we call the Holocene was negligible, to the point that it could essentially be ignored when developing models of history. But as Lamb was willing to acknowledge by the early 1960s, the accumulating evidence was not consistent with this steady state model. He goes on to lay out the broad parameters of the change over the course of the past roughly 10,000 years, at least four climatic epochs since the Ice Age seem likely to repay more study by meteorologists than they have so far received. The post-glacial climatic optimum, a warm period culminating between about 5,000 and 3,000 BC, that is between about 8,000 and 5,000 years ago, to the colder climatic epoch of the early Iron Age, which culminated between about 900 and 450 BC, the secondary climatic optimum in the early Middle Ages, broadly around AD 1000 to 1200 or rather longer. And finally, D or four, the Little Ice Age, a period of very cold climate marked between about AD 1430 and 1850.